Yes guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. A brand new team of the week is here. We've got some crazy looking cards, but one man stands out to me. Being an Arsenal fan, he's close to my heart. We got an 81 overall team of the week, Smith Rowe. I don't know what that pick up. Here he was. And I have gone out and spent 25k on this man. A bit controversial, by the time you watch this video it's probably shot down in price, but as it stands right now, it is 3 past 6. I sniped him up, every other card's up for about 35k plus, but realistically, he's going to be in that 10 to 20k bracket. The only reason this guy may be a little bit more expensive is purely for the Arsenal premium. It happens guys, players from Arsenal and in forms like Saka last year round tended to be a little bit more expensive than what they should be. But the card itself, we've got a six foot high high work rate, right footed, four star, four star. And the attributes themselves are actually super solid. The pace is very respectable, 85 and 84. The shooting with the finisher chem goes up to 92 attack positioning, 85 finishing, 87 shot power. This man should be pretty lethal in front of goal, I say that. It doesn't matter how good the shooting is because the goalkeepers are on roids and next level. With the finisher, we go up to 90 agility, 84 balance and 99 dribbling. So the card should feel fantastic. I have super high hopes for him. The passing, 86 passing, 82 vision. Brilliant as we're going to play him in that cam roll. And he also has 80 stamina. No traits apart from technical dribbler, CPU, AI trait. But I don't want to waste any more time, guys. Those are the stats. That is the face card. That's going to be the team that he's rocking with. Ah, yes, the boys. This is my current first team. Usually I have Diaz and I've got Sanusi on this little left-hand side. However, just for this video, we're mixing up a little bit. And depending on how good Smith Rowe is, we'll see if he keeps Diaz out of the team. But currently, as it stands, this man down here is my favourite player. But the team itself to get Smith Rowe on full cam, we got Kieran Tierney, we got Gomez, Upamecano, the glitching goal, and Babu Baku. Nice little strong link here. Baku plays as a centre mid. You'll see how we line up in game in a minute. We got Greasy Grease, Correa, Valverde, and Camavinga to finish off. In regards to custom tactics, I'm having a bit of fun with this. Balance 35 55. Balance direct passing 47 1 1. Formations are 4 3 2 1. I'm actually going to start Smith Throw as that left forward. However, on the instructions, I'll have him to cut inside to kind of be that left forward slash centre forward in the team. Kind of dropping in behind Correa and Griezmann. I think it's going to work out well. But Correa is our leading striker with Grease on the right hand side. Camavinga, Valverde, and Baku in the midfield three. And the back four stays the same. So as it stands, I'm still in Division 5. I kind of want to stay in this division purely for the rewards tomorrow. If I end up going to Div 4, I'm not going to complain, but I definitely don't want to drop out of this rank. So hopefully, we're not going to take a couple of hours in this player view. And fingers crossed, Smith Rowe is a baller. So game number one with Team of the Week Smith Rowe. What are we up against? He's got the link. This, this is it. Diaz and Sanusi. That left 4-5-1, left mid and left back combo. It's lethal. People are catching on. I like it. But guys, if you are on Ultimate Edition or if you tried the game on E-Access, what do you think so far? Are you a fan? Are you enjoying it? It is definitely a grower. It is definitely different to uh, FIFA 21. Um, it's probably the first FIFA in what feels like a good four or five years that genuinely feels massively different, which is a nice refreshing feeling, uh, but enough waffling, it is Smith Rowe Masterclass time. Oh, he's already battling. He's battling for the badge already. Oh, he feels great on the ball. He kind of throws me off every time because he's actually quite a big lad, six foot tall, a little bit stocky, he's not super lean. Oh, lovely first touch. Go for a whippage there. Not a bad effort. Initial thoughts, the first touch is top tier. The card feels pretty liquid. Positive signs. Pace, acceleration's nice. Oh, just the... Probably should have low-driven at bottom corner. That's the two things I've learned, guys. Finesse shots and low-drivens are the only way to score in FIFA 22. Trust me. Little Arsenal link up, Smith Rowe, Tierney. We've got men in the middle, we've got Kamavinga. Oh, I just couldn't quite pick up Baku. Oh, my opponent's a bit of a baller, you know. He's a bit of a tricky customer, guys. We've got to keep our heads switched on here. No rush challenges. Oh, that's a bit of play for my opponent here again. Watch that one back. Oh, boys. It's the last line of defence. You love to see it. Oh, just like that, boys. My opponent has been absolutely all over me, to be fair. Human Sun gets the goal. And of course, it's a finesse shot. No surprise. Hold up. What a tackle. Able to run it in for the first time. What feels like a lifetime. Be on side. That is a huge glove. Went for the low driven. Big save from the goalkeeper. And we are still 1-0 down at the half. 
We need a little bit more though. I'm struggling a little bit going forward. My opponent's a very good player. Bit of a skiller. I think he fans himself with the five star skill moves, but we're still in this game. Mix up the team a little bit. We're bringing up Baku on here. Kamavinga's out and the big man, Lukaku, the shine is coming on. That is the inspiration that we need. Lovely tackle. He's a baller. He's an absolute baller. We got men in the middle. Ah, oh, tried to pick out Lukaku, just couldn't quite find him. Just whip that. Oh, it's a big save. Low driven there, may have found the back of the net, but decent positioning. That is one thing we noticed on the card stats originally. Smith Rowe drifting inside, that's what we wanted him to do. Nice belly good play tracking back as well. A little inception there, do you boys see that? Well done. We move now, boys, we move. We had a couple of chances early game, just a couple, nothing incredible. This Fred, by the way, is absolutely destroying me. He's everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see Fred. Love that from Mbappé. Come on now, boys. We get a taste for it just then. Smith right through the middle, mate. That. Oh, keeper's just beaten to it. Nice little link-up play, though. The card feels honestly really quick off the block, which is uh, interesting because he's only got 80 on acceleration. That's the goal. A Smith Rowe assist as well. I keep going to look over here because that's where my camera was on my previous setup. So I moved around now, so I may be looking all over the place. But there, Smith Rowe assist. GG's. Lovely bit of play. Lukaku, all boys arriving. Grease! It was a lucky. Probably went for the wrong ball there. The Smith Rowe is lighting things up as it stands, boys. But one all in game number one. Now, one game player view means nothing. We go again. Game number two. We're not messing about. I want the W. We had chances in that one. Came close. The Kaku did pull back the equaliser. But it's not as satisfying as a W. And what we're up against in game number two. Come on. Decent Serie A team. A bit of uh, bit Barella, Kessie in there. Chiesa. Insigne as well. This man is naughty this year. The man has zero accuracy, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. It's all about the power for Smith Rowe. All about the power, this could go anywhere. At least we green timed this, not a bad effort. Not a bad effort one bit. <sighs> Just couldn't quite get the shot off. Did everything right, apart from I did the wrong skill move. I didn't mean to do the heel to heel there. That may have screwed me over. Smith Rowe, fighting for the badge. Keep going, lad. One more. Gotta be. Is that the defender last second? Nightmare. But Smith Rowe feels fantastic, by the way. Oh, it's a big save from the keeper. Tight angle. But we're peppering the goal. It is all us right now, boys. Oh, how has he thread that through there? We're in trouble, boys. Oh, Pope. What was that save? Goalkeepers are overpowered, but that is insanity. So we find ourselves level at half time. We're going to do the same swap as last time. Griezmann in, Kamavinga, Baku, and then a bit of the shine up top. Hopefully that helps. I feel like Kaku coming off the bench is a completely different style of play, and that is what I want to do. But decent so far from Smith Row. I'm loving the card. Definitely in that kind of more central situation. Even on the wing, he's got the beat in a Dumfries. It's just the likes of Manolas and Skriniar. Sweeping up behind. Uh, he's struggling there. Oh, unreal. How has he kept that in and beat him? I thought he lost the ball. Cross in. Oh, unlucky. Here we go again. Don't know what that pick up for Tierney was. Oh, my days. Can you imagine? Imagine the scenes if he had bagged that goal. I don't know how he kept it in. Big shine, big shine. Keeper. Risky business from the keeps. Go on, Emil. You've got the beating of him, man. Low driven. Lukaku. There we go. On the follow-up. Emil could claim the assist. FBL terms, that is a good five-pointer or a four-pointer for the assist. Uh, but we take that. That's the goal we needed. And felt like we deserved. 
I'm looking at Emil over here. Absolutely whipped the play. We got the beat in a manner, lads. We've done it, boys. Oh, keep it on. Oh, lucky. He is a warrior, though. I'm actually really enjoying this card. Some of the words I may be saying are massive Arsenal bias. But trust me when I say it, boys. He's quicker than what his card stats say. And his dribbling is sensational. And we get ourselves a 1-0 rage quit. My man's had enough. The Emile smith Row Masterclass is all you need. It was a close game. Decent opponent. But at the end of the day, I would take that W. So that is where I'm going to this one, guys. Is Emile smith Row worth the price? As it stands... He is currently going. Now the game early, the card's been out about 40 minutes. Still in that 25k ball mark. I told you, the Arsenal premium is real. 25k I picked him up for. Is he worth that? It's difficult to judge. He was a very good card. I really enjoyed using him. The pace he feels much quicker than the stats. The shooting was decent. Didn't score the goal. One of his shots led to a goal at least. He got the pass assist to Lukaku. And the dribbling is fantastic. The only thing he struggles with is with the strength. Beating the likes of Dumfries at pace was easy, but when Manolas came across with the big wailing elbows, this man got a bit bullied. But overall, a super fun card, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this review. This will be the first of many Team of the Week reviews on this channel, so until next time, take it easy.